I'm starting my day off with a delivered order. I always love starting my days off with catering orders. I feel like it's a good amount to really start off your day. And then usually what I do is I go on to food deliveries. Right now it is 10.50 in the morning. It's supposed to be delivered by 11.30. So that's how I am starting off my day. I'm gonna kind of go through the process of delivered with you guys in case you're new to the app itself. If you are, it is a catering app and there are other catering apps out there but this one is specifically delivered and you know I find it very easy to use I find it fun um, it definitely is different than food delivery so if you are coming from food delivery and are thinking about catering it definitely is a different animal so you're picking up more food it's higher dollar amounts and then on top of that, you have to give good customer service because there's definitely a different level of service when you're ordering hundreds of dollars worth of food. And then on top of that, there's also set up for all these catering orders as well that you have to take a picture of and then submit it to the company. So that's kind of, you know, an overview of delivered in a nutshell. I got this order the day before. That's the, another good thing about catering orders is that you can kind of plan out your day a little bit in advance so you kind of know which direction you're going. It's unlike food delivery where you just turn on an app and you go. So that's actually what I like about it because I can plan out what's happening during my day. I just arrived. The thing with delivered, there's a couple of processes. If you take it the day before, then you will get a notification the night before saying, hey, you got a delivered order scheduled for the next morning or the next afternoon. Hey, just beware. And then an hour before you are scheduled to do your pickup, you get a text message that you have to reply yes and it's just to let them know you're still interested in the delivery if you do not hit reply yes they will take away your order so that's a very important step of the process and then 30 minutes prior to you arriving you actually have to start the delivery in the app itself and then you have to arrive 10 minutes early early is always good but too early that's not good either. So the 10 minute mark is usually when delivered expects you to arrive at the restaurant. So that's where I'm at. I'm actually 15 minutes early for this pickup, but I'm gonna go in at 10 minutes just to let them know that I am here. A lot of times restaurants like to be exactly the time of the pickup because they're managing and they're also preparing a large amount of food. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be waiting a little while and then we're gonna go get the delivered, delivered, get it? Delivered, delivered, anyway, let's go do it. Okay, here are my catering bags. The one right here is my hot stuff. The one right there is my cold stuff. So two bags and let's go get it delivered. So food, whole order fit into two bags a couple of trays so it's a whole bag of hot food and then I have a separate bag for all the cold stuff so I do keep them separated you never want to put your cold stuff in with your hot stuff because the cold stuff becomes warm it becomes like an icky mess so definitely you don't want to do that the more bags with delivered catering bags I should say the more catering bags with delivered the better the more catering bags you have, the bigger orders supposedly you have the opportunities of getting. You do need to submit all of the pictures of every single one of your catering bags to Delivered so they know how many that you actually have. I personally am up to 10 catering bags just because I want to get some of those bigger orders. I'm going to go get my drive on. We're going to go get this delivered and then we're going to just complete the order all together. So let's go get it delivered. Order is done and complete. I can never bring you guys in with me because talking about customer service, you don't want to be rude. And obviously you don't want to video and film in a place, especially I went into a doctor's office. 
definitely due to privacy reasons, I could not bring you guys in with me, but I can show you a picture of the setup. Now, the thing with a lot of these setups and especially going into companies, you do, you do majority of the setup and the unpacking, but there are cases like the one I just had that there were like two ladies that wanted to kind of do their own setup and had in their mind how they wanted it set up. So I helped them out as much as I possibly could by unpacking and then getting everything organized for them and then they placed it where they wanted to so I did ha have help with this particular setup that's not always the case a lot of times you have to do it yourself but in this case they were nice enough to help out because they wanted it a specific way order is now complete oh my god I forgot to tell you I just can't believe it I just went through the whole entire video and didn't even tell you how much the order was. Well, here's the order right here. It was a $71 order, which is why the whole entire point of why it was so good that this was starting off my day. I'm starting my day with $71 right now. I am going to turn on DoorDash and Uber Eats and huh, maybe Grubhub. Yeah, probably not Grubhub because I never get cowbells at this time of the afternoon, maybe evening, but man, that's another story for another day, but maybe I'll even turn on Instacart just for a little bit to get me through the rest of my afternoon. My delivered is delivered. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you're looking for another delivered video, you can check out this one next. If you're driving, stay safe. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys and I'll see you next video. Peace out.